Hi, this tutorial will walk you through the steps of creating a new project in the Kiel or Kyle IDE so software development environment. I am using version 4.7. So first we go to project, new project, and then here you choose a folder for your project. So, and then write um, the name of your project. And then save. Now it opens this window which you have to choose your target hardware. Uh, we are using the launch band from Texas Instruments. So we can expand the Texas Instruments and then look for our board or we can write its name here in the search uh, text box. So it's TM4C123 GH6PM. Here it is. Okay. It's asking here whether you want the startup file that the IDE creates to be included in your project or not. Uh, in this case, let's say no because we're going to use another startup file. Okay. Here in the target, if you want to change the name, um, you go here and then double click and call it tutorial. And then OK. Under the source group, this is where our files will be included. So right click, go for add existing files, and then find where you um, included uh, the startup file. So let's say this is the one. I'm going to add it and close. So now if you expand, here it is. OK. Now we want to create a new file for um, our assembly program. So we go File, New, and then it opens a new editor. And this is where we will write our uh, assembly program. And we need to save it. So let's say File, Save As, and then make sure you are saving it under the same uh, directory of the project. So tutorial and this, since this is an assembly uh, file, make sure that you add the dot s and then save. You also need to come to the source group, right click and make sure you add it. When you create it, it doesn't add it automatically. So you still have to add it. So here it is tutorial dot s add and close. Okay, now we're ready to write our um, assembly program. Okay. Okay, so I paused um, so I can write the program quickly. Uh, so here it is the program, a simple program that adds two numbers. And now we want to um, assemble it. So we go to project and then build target. And then make sure we have zero errors. If you have any errors, you have to uh, fix it before the program work can work. Okay, so what we need to do next is uh, we want to trace the program and see how the registers are changing while the program is executing. So we go here to the start and stop debug session. And here it's asking, well, it's actually letting you know that this is evaluation mode. And for the, the Kyle IDE, uh, we're using the free version, which is uh, under 32, up to 32K limit of code. 
So we're just going to say OK. And here we enter into the debug. OK, so um, what this export start and then start? This is this marks the beginning of the program and it is linked to the startup file that we included. So in the startup file, if you scroll down, you will get to um, the reset handler. And the reset handler is basically the beginning of the program. So you're saying when the program starts, what should it uh, does and here what it will do it will link uh, the start of the program to the label start that we have here in our dot s file okay now in the debugger mode you notice here to the left we have all the registers r0 up to r15 in addition to the status registers. Here at the top, this shows you uh, the code, the, the, the assembled code, this assembled code, and see here, notice, As an example, the move S R0 R0, and then you have to the left of the instruction, you have uh, this hexadecimal number. This marks a memory address. So it basically means that this instruction resides in this memory address. Okay. okay. And the uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, that's the opcode of the move s so you have in the memory location 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3 aa for example you have an opcode 0, 0, 0, 0, which translates to an instruction called move s r0 r0 okay so what we want to do is we want to uh, step through the program so we're going to go here, and you know this, this is the beginning, this arrow, uh, and here, this is where the program counter starts counting. So keep going. Now the next instruction is executed, and now you can see that R0 has a value of 4, which is coming from the execution of the first instruction okay keep stepping and now you are about to execute the end so now you have four in r0 and five in r1 so let's step and now we have the add instruction executed and then um, you have the result in r2 When you are done, you can also be, uh, go to view, and then here, if you want to watch any uh, variables, especially if you are writing in a high-level language, so you can watch how the variable is changing from the watch window. We don't need this one. And the memory window, here, if you are using the memory, View memory window two. So here, let's say you want to look at address two zero zero five zero x for hexadecimal, and then enter. And here you have here's your memory, and all these are the bytes residing in that particular memory location. After you are done with debugging, you just uh, stop debug session. And you're done. 
one one thing is we are currently using uh, the um, the simulator for the IDE. Uh, so if you go here to the options for target and you open it up and you go to the debug we are currently using the simulator if we are to connect the tiva board what we will need to do is we use um, the right target so we have to choose the stellaris icdi Okay, and we already have the device. It's here. The right, make sure you have the correct device. Uh, nothing much here uh, in the target, um, in the output. So you don't really need to change anything except going to the debug and instead of using the simulator we need to, to, to use the Stellaris and then OK so let's say we want to download a program that we wrote to the Tiva board so what we do uh, we build make sure zero errors and then go to here and this is where you download to the flash memory and see here programming done and verify okay so and it uh, erase is done so it first erase the memory and then replace it with the new program so this is how you would download a program to your board okay that's it thank you for watching